Now if you if you don't like this uh, brush method you can uh, just just take a drip bottle and put a drop along there and just run it along. Spread it around. Get one more little one more drop in here. There you go. Or you can use both. Get a drop in there and then spread it with a brush. There you go. <laughs> On this uh, back side, there's one other thing that we want to do. And yeah, let's get a little more light on here. There we go. And remember this pinion gear that we put the grease on, then it takes a drop of oil where the gear sits into the frame. Not on the gear itself, that's the grease, but where the gear sits into the frame. Get some oil in there. Okay. And I think we got to get a little bit of oil back here because this slides all the way. So you can brush or run a drop along the sides of this too. So we did the front of it. Might as well do the back end of it here. And we'll spread that around a little bit. Make sure we got it all. Okay, then as we come back, <clears throat> come back up on the top side, you remember we greased the, the cam, but we need to oil these uh, parts around it here. And we need some oil where this is going to slide up here. The other side of that uh, plate. And we need some oil between the cam and the frame. I got a couple drops of oil in there. If we run the fork, we can spread that around good. Okay, that should do it. <coughs> and then up here, see this little uh, spring finger, what I call it, I don't know what they call it, and this little uh, gear uh, finger right here, a little spring and a spring. So we want a little oil up there because you have, again, you've just like a, a sewing machine, you've got metal on metal. And uh, they recommend we we dropped a we dropped a little oil between the cam and this frame part. We want to put a drop between the uh, part of the frame that holds the gear and the frame that holds the cam. Right in there. We need a drop of oil in there. There we go. We'll move that fork a little bit again. Get all that worked in. And they recommend uh, oiling the teeth of this gear. And for that, I, I really find the, the brush very handy. Because it seems like putting some drops on there, it's just excessive and it gets all over the place. So I do about a third of the gear teeth and then rotate it a third and and do the other <laughs> and on this um, part back here on this back 
gear where this is where that adjustment knob goes well let me just put it on there and show you and then when you turn it clockwise it moves this around into position there's a little spring clip right there there's a spring and the clamp that holds it and that little spring moves a little bit so they recommend a, a drop of oil on that back there and they they don't um, say anything about this steel ball bearing but when you look at it you can see that that ball bearing here positions itself between this frame and this moving uh, gear shaft right in there so a little track it runs around so I always put a drop of oil on top of that bearing ball bearing and uh, you know let, let it just go down and and uh, do that so we've got oil up here we've got oil on the other side see this little Put a drop of oil. You see that screw right there? Slotted screw. Put a drop of oil up there. Um, where your bite adjuster or <clears throat> zigzag width slides along that uh, plate. I'm going to put a, a drop on each side of that on the front and the back and then we're going to slide that around and I might spread it around with my brush to all these places that I lubricated so nicely and then you always end up with a little extra oil um, so I go around with a dry q-tip and just kind of mop up that extra oil uh, oil that's not on or between uh, moving parts like that really does just collect dust and uh, lint from the thread and the cloth and so forth so the you get that grid in there and that's hard on moving parts um, that's why you lubricate them to keep them moving freely and uh, but extra oil does, isn't doing you any good and it has an adverse effect so we've got it oil and lubed uh, a couple other things I do is I take this interdental uh, brush and put a couple drops uh, small drops of oil on there I buy these at the dollar store you get five or six in a package and I just put a little oil on these uh, metal screws and the cover plate screw because they, they are going metal to metal and on the clamping screw that you use to, to screw this device onto your presser foot bar we'll get a little oil on there too because we want them to go in and out smooth so you can see I've got gotten some grease here from just the handling so I said to mop up the extra we're going to put this back together now we'll just put the cover plate on and we'll put the cover plate screw Phillips screw right there on the top and screw it in snugly just firmly don't crank down it's plastic.